Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com, and today we're going to talk about how to text a guy. So if you're struggling to know what how you should be texting a guy, then uh, let me put some ease to your frustration there. So the, let's talk first about what you should avoid doing. So the first thing that you should avoid doing is you should avoid an overanalyzing whatever his text messages are. So um, if you start overanalyzing things, uh, you might overanalyze your way into thinking that he said something crazy that he didn't say. And so uh, you know, take things at face value, have fun with it, be playful, um, avoid overanalyzing it. Um, and if you've already started over analyzing it, get away from it for a little bit and then come back and go, if I came and looked at this from a fresh mind, what would I think? And then just, you know, get out of your head and uh, into your heart and just have fun. Uh, the second thing to over, to avoid doing is writing a book to him. So this uh, can be just too much for a lot of guys and it's you know just typing away at a whole book if you have that much to talk about you know maybe you should get on the phone with each other instead of uh, talking to each other over text um, so what do you want to do the first thing you want to do is be confident you know be confident in what you're doing uh, be be playful have fun you know be confident in your messages and responses don't get insecure about it just be confident and, and have fun with it and and uh, enjoy what you're doing you know and, and uh, uh, again don't overanalyze um, the second thing that you want to do is end on a high note so you know if, if things are going well you know uh, and you kind of run out of things to say, don't hold on to the conversation and try to keep the conversation going. You know, you can always just end it, you know, uh, just let them know that you have to get going or whatever, and that uh, you'll talk to them. You'd love, you know, to keep texting with them soon or whatever. Um, so ha end things on a high note. That's always better than, you know, trying to hold on and, and uh, suck the life out of a conversation that, that, uh, that has ended. So um, ask him, questions if you want him to answer that's the the next thing that's the third thing that you want to do is is uh, a lot of times women will send a message and they won't ask a question and they'll expect an answer and um, for a lot of guys it's like okay I don't know what you want me to say and so if you want him to answer um, ask him a question you know um, if you have something to say and you want his opinion on it Ask him what he thinks. Say, what do you think? Don't just say, hey, this, you know, and expect him to respond to you um, because he might not know how you want him to respond. Uh, you know, a lot of times women get upset with guys who uh, who try to solve their problems for them. So if, if you, you know, and, and so guys are like, well, I'm just listening, but she wants me to respond, but I don't know how to respond. Just ask him a question. It's just so much easier that way. Um, and then the last thing that you want to do is make sure that you have other things going on so that you're not so like purely focused on uh, whether he's texting you back or not. You know, uh, a lot of times um, women can, if they don't have other things going on in their life, they can get like obsessive about the texting. And, and then next thing you know, the guy's like, w why are you acting so crazy right now? You know, and, and, and you will be like, acting crazy if you get obsessive about it and so you just have other things going on you know have a life outside of whatever relationship that you'd like to get into have an interesting life you know that way um a guy would want to be a part of it and uh you know you don't get obsessive about about texting and what's going on with his text messages so that's it for today if you want more information on how to attract mr right into a committed lasting relationship make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz i'm matthew coast and i'll speak with you again soon